Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the light heavyweight bout between Thiago Santos versus Alexander Rakic. Or Alexander Rakic. So I'll see this one is um Thiago Santos kinda got exposed. It's not like it was nothing new, it's already been there in the past. And uh, to pat myself on the back, I saw it coming and I predicted pretty much the Zag around the Zag method how he would lose. But outside of that, what we all know now, what's pretty relevant is that Tiago Santos, let me say another thing I said another thing. I don't think people not really recognize that Tiago Santos is 37 years old. You know, you might feel like he's just hitting his his star fame and you know, reaching, the, reaching the peak of his career or the pinnacle of his career and he like, or was at one, or just before that last fight. He's not a guy that's like 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, maybe 35. He's 37 or 36, about to turn 37. And he's getting, he's past mid thirties. He's getting, he's in late thirties department and he's a explosive fighter and he's still holding up. He still looks young and still a very dangerous fighter. But, and also you yeah, gotta realize he's up there in age at one, at some point it's just going to, you know, that uh, roller coaster is going to start going down and it could already have already started going down. And then he's also a fighter that hasn't really been that, you know, that consistent fighter. He's always been an up and down fighter. So you can't really rely on him to, you know, to be the the fighter that knows how to pull out wins, whether he's boring or sorry, he's not a fighter that you can't really trust to do what needs to be done to win fights at all times. You could trust him to be dangerous. You could trust him to be lethal. You could trust him to knock some folk out who want to be knocked out or dare to be hit. But in fights like this, I just think it's going to be a fight that's not going to work out for him. I think Rack, well, not even think Racket is the much bigger fight. Racket like 6'5", bigger, longer, younger, much younger. I think Racket is like 29, 28. The younger fighter, the bigger fighter, the longer fighter. Has some some decent, some solid striking as well. Very underrated striking. And really super underrated grappling. I remember at one point he said he trained with um, Manua. And, um, you know, he knocked out Manua. But before they even fought, well before they fought, they trained together for a split moment. You know, at the same gym with Gustafs and et cetera, et cetera. And he thought um, Racket was actually a wrestler. That's how underrated and good his wrestling is. And we have seen a little bit of that. He hasn't used it too much. He uses it at times. So I definitely think he has a wrestling in the size. And he's young and he's fresh to really take um, Santos down and control him. And, and even on the feet, he has that range and he has the height. He has good kicks to keep Tiago Santos at bay, avoid the explosion circle, and not be on, you know, be there on a, on a single line to be hit by Santos. So I really think he's big, young, fresh, a good, clean, technical striker. And the guy that has the in control of whether, you know, where the fight goes, really, I don't think Santos could really have too much success with his wrestling or grappling in this one as far as at least getting it there. He definitely has some decent grappling and some decent submission skills as well, but I think Racket has the skills to, like I said, control that, take him down, neutralize his submission game, get control time there, avoid the, the kicks, avoid the explosions of Santos, land his own kicks, use his height, use his reach, use those advantages, use his youth, and really just suck the life out of um, Santos. And when he go out there and put on a statement performance, I think it's just, a, 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 you know, getting the job done, taking him down, landing ground and pound, and... Mixing the kicks, frustrating him, and never allowing him to really get going in this one with the takedowns, with the distance, and making Santos fight on his terms. So having Santos on his term, Santos not no star, he's not no amazing fighter, he's not no fight IQ fighter. He's an explosive, he's a dangerous, he's a specimen, but he's not a true winner, and it's gonna get exposed again in this fight and get thrown off his game, get taken down, and not allowed to fight his fight and get beat to a decision. I don't think it's stellar for either man, but Rackick gets the decision in this one. So, in this one, I have Alexander Rackick via decision.